In today's video, I'm going to be showing you another 8-gap pressure setup. Now, this is from the 46 playbook. Now, the 46 playbook is the playbook that I wrote my defensive guide out of. And so uh, we're going to be continuing to update that for or that that uh, ebook with more uh, for the, from the 4-6 playbook for more uh, the nickel normal and, and things like that. So we're going to be updating that for you guys. That is coming soon. But what I wanted to do right now is give you an 8-gap pressure. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Cody, and I post – four times a day here on YouTube, every single day, four times, and we live stream every single night. Now, what we do is we post videos that are designed to help you get better at the game, designed to break down some kind of principle or concept or tip or strategy. And so today what we're doing is we are taking a look at some A-gap pressure. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna have a fast defensive tackle right in this position right here. Uh, so we're gonna put Dean Lowry in this. But again, if you guys are interested in getting better at the game, one thing that I do wanna encourage you to do before we jump into this nickel normal tip is to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen that's going to allow you to know whenever we post a new video but it's also going to allow you to know whenever we're live uh, answering questions on YouTube so nickel normal buck slant show two is the play we're going to be breaking down this is one of the plays that everybody starts the year off really um, running because pretty much every year man it just works right stock it will work as you see there we're going to get some some gap pressure. Um, literally, I just call the play that's, I don't do anything else, and you'll see the stump of the ball. This play, you know, just kind of seems to be a little finicky. But I'm gonna give you one little adjustment, one or two little adjustments that's gonna make this play even better. All we're gonna do is we're gonna base a line and see how it's gonna move those defensive linemen. We're gonna press coverage, and we're gonna pinch our linebackers. Base the line, press coverage, Pinch your linebackers, and you'll see here at the step of the ball, you're going to get a gap pressure coming through on disengage. What I love about this defense is you're either going to get a gap pressure or you're going to get edge pressure. You're not going to really, you're going to get some type of pressure of this. There's really no setup involved. All you got to do is focus on the coverages, and you'll see here I'm going to consistently get this a gap pressure. Um, this little disengage, Dean Lowry is going to consistently come free uh, at the quarterback here. Show you one other adjustment that you can do. Now, this isn't the setup that we, this is a little bit of a different setup here, which you'll see here again coming through the A gap. Now, one little adjustment you can do if you want the pressure to be a little bit more clean is you can go ahead and crash your defensive line down and you can zone out that defensive end on that right of screen. But see here, very basic overload concept in this game. But I love the fact that you're either going to get the A gap from the blooping linebacker or you're going to get the A gap from the nose guard. Um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal uh, defensive blitzing concept this year. The way the game works, the way the game is played. You are going to want to mix this in. What I love about this is you can mix this in with some coverage defenses, um, and it's just going to keep you uh, very, very consistent on the defensive side of the ball. So, again, baseline, press coverage, pinch your line – or not – I'm sorry, not pinch your line. Just crash your line down, and then you are going to uh, pinch your defensive linebackers. Now, again, if you want – I would say it's a little bit more of a consistent overall blitz whenever you do that. Um, it's, you, get, you get the A-gap or the edge more consistently when you just let the guy run through. There we get picked up. One of the challenges with practice mode is sometimes when you run the same blitz at it over and over again, it will adjust. So we're just going to reset our play here. But guys, I do want to encourage you guys to get involved with my channel. And one of the best ways to get involved with my channel, and I believe one of the best ways to help you improve in Madden, is to join my community Discord. Now, Discord is a communication platform. It is a place where we can build community here with my YouTube channel. You see, we get the A-gap pressure right there. Um, but Discord is very, very simple way to uh, communicate because it basically is an app where you get everybody's contact information without actually getting their contact information right so it's completely secure but that is a great place for you to share your tips share your schemes share your ideas with the community see what the community thinks of them it's also a great place for you to ask questions if you're having an issue stopping a specific thing or you are maybe just looking for some new lab partners maybe you're just looking for some people that you want to enjoy man 21 with our community over at discord is really designed to do just that and so i just want to extend a personal invitation if you haven't already 
already, do consider joining that Discord community. We're posting tips in there all the time. We're talking Madden all day long, 24-7. So that link is in the description of this video, guys. But if you want to pick up the defensive ebook, we are going to be updating that uh, in the next couple of days with some of the post pass pressures uh, and things like that. So you guys can pick that up. A link to get that is in the description. It's my Madden 21 Competitor's Guide bundle. It's going to get you both my offense and my defense, guys. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to jump off here, but there's going to be some more videos that are going to come up on the screen, and we will also be posting later on today on our YouTube as well as going live this evening. So we'll see you guys later.